Morning, everyone. We're back up at the shop here, the second day after the snowstorm. What is this? Roughly five, four, hmm, five-ish. Maybe a little bit higher in some spots. Um, it's enough. I mean, it's kind of not fluffy. It's frosty. It's yeah. This snowblower should throw it pretty good, I think. Yeah. This is the walker that you guys saw us put the. Uh, for me pick up from the auction that day I was doing the vlog by myself um it was missing the wheel on that side I think yeah and it was missing the back wheels and it didn't run it's been sitting for a year or so and here it is all it needed was a battery uh fresh fuel we put the snow tires on it we hooked the snow blower up to it and uh this thing's ready to roll it's a Kubota diesel <clears throat> yeah 20.9 horsepower 21 horsepower Kubota diesel uh what is it a d722 i think it's the model yeah uh it did need new glow plugs cross our fingers it should start it's been sitting here for about three days in the cold it should start pretty good with the new glow plugs um or switch this out and put your mower deck on it and the tires and go to work i mean the hopper's in perfect shape uh, this isn't a sales pitch this is just showing that this machine Within 10 minutes, if you don't know what you're doing, you can switch the mower deck right onto this. Within five, put the mower deck on, switch the tires, the blower fan's in good shape, the hopper's in good shape, pull the handle, and you got a mower deck. You're ready to go cut grass. Um, what else? I mean, we just yeah. we showed them it. Yeah, this is an older, older snowblower. It's only a single stage. Yeah. Single stage for not a lot of snow seems like it's better because it whips it faster to throw it. Uh, the guy we bought this from said this snowblower throws snow 50 feet. We'll see. We'll see if it actually does that. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, the, the chute's stuck in one position now. To the left, which I'm assuming he did spots where he just went forward, backwards, forward, backwards. I, it would make sense to be able to turn it so you can just turn the machine around, but who knows. Um, see the blower fan's in good shape. It spins freely. It's not rusted through. The hydros are in good shape, new battery, new glow plugs, the radiator's got cool in it. 30, how many hours? 800. 38. 30. 3,700 hours on it. Which, in my opinion, these go forever. Have to warm up.
Good job. Everybody made fun of our video last year on this thing, and we had about this much snow, so it wasn't it was throwing fluff, anything. It was fluff, and it was like a yeah. quarter of a centimeter of snow. I'll put the video here just for reference so you can see how... I mean, this is a lot of snow, and... It's heavy. It it's, froze overnight, yeah. too. So this thing actually did it's, pretty uh, good. It's not fluff, it's, it's crust. It's crusty, crunchy. Yeah. It's, like, I mean, it's hard snow. You can't make a, a good snowball like you. You could be able to I think if it, it, it like melted a little bit yesterday, so the water went to the bottom. Um, it's all water, obviously, but like it went to the bottom and froze overnight to the asphalt. Yeah. So it's not scraping perfectly to the ground, but uh, it's throwing the snow. Whatever's yeah. going in here was 50 feet is what? Uh, how many yards is that? I'm trying to think of like the football field. 15 yards? Yeah. Six, it's like 16 yards, I think. 16 or 17. Uh, I'd say it was going a good 10 or 12. And mm. it was, if it was fluffier, it probably would have went farther. Yeah. Yeah, but this thing works. Last year, that video, we just didn't have enough snow for it to actually Yeah. Do it. And this one, we actually have the chain hook up from, to be able to lift it up. But there's always something little wrong with these, like the, uh, this is supposed to be a foot pedal to keep it locked in the up position, which doesn't work. And, like, um, and then the chute's stuck, you can only shoot it one this way. This works down, but once you twist it down, it starts spitting out this way. Yeah, the and previous you... owner, what did he welded it. He welded it, because I guess there's supposed to be like a collar, I think, for this to... It's probably flopping around. Yeah, well, I think there, whatever was there broke, yeah. I guess. There's supposed to be like a retainer so that it can swivel, I think. But if you don't have snow pants and it kicks down, your legs yeah, yeah. pretty quick. Yeah, but uh, anyways, we just want to do a quick demo on it. The chains rip it off and throw a motor deck off. Yeah. If you're a homeowner, like this is perfect. That Kubota diesel switch, sounds good. Be able to switch attachments. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you're a landscaper, this would work for your sidewalks at your commercial sites or whatever. I mean, yeah. Or if you're a small landscaper and you have a trailer and you can get this to your clients' houses to do their driveway, you don't even need a plow in your truck if the driveways aren't huge. Yeah. Um, here, we're going to push this right over the edge of the truck. Yeah. But um, and, uh, it worked well. I, th I didn't think it was going to throw it as far as it did compared to the one we used last year. But I remember we had a two-stage one, though, and it threw it far. Remember that? And John has a two-stage one. There. Motor sounds good, and then the tires did good too. They did good. They have lots of traction without even putting the chains on them. We have chains too. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude just our little demo on the Walker mower with the snowblower to redeem ourselves from last year. So I hope you guys like it. We'll see you guys in the next one.